Namaste everyone. Today we are going to draw the Lewis dot structure of NO which is also known as nitric oxide. Now beforehand, uh, before proceeding drawing the structure of NO, I want to state that this particular molecule is an exception to the Lewis octate rule. Lewis octate rule. This rule stated that every atom present in a molecule wants to complete its duplet or octate. Duplet for D-U-P-L-E-T duplet for hydrogen and helium whereas octate for all the other uh, elements except these two okay because these two uh, just have one S uh, subshell uh, in their outermost shell okay and they don't have 2s or 2p nothing just 1s and the maximum number of electrons uh, which are 1s uh, which which are which are orbital in a 1s subshell will have will carry uh, just a maximum of two electrons okay so they want to complete their duplet but all other all other want to complete their octet which means they want to have eight electrons in their valence shell vs okay now let's proceed drawing the structure of no now as i told you this is the exception to lewis octate rule so i'm drawing three stars which will remind you guys that is that this particular molecule is an exception and it is very important that you guys memorize this particular the, the structure of this particular molecule along with its brother NO2 nitrogen dioxide. I'll provide the link of, of the structure of NO2. I, I made a video about this one. It will be here somewhere here, uh, right uh, top right corner. Please do check it out. It'll make it'll get have a you'll have a better comprehension about the structures and how the molecules do not follow Lewis octet rule. Okay, now the electronic configuration of nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2. 2p3 and the electronic configuration of oxygen since oxygen is present here so we are talking about oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 now let's count the valence electrons present in these two elements atoms okay now uh, the number of valence electrons for nitrogen will be 5 how let's see see the, the valence electrons are counted as the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell. The outermost shell for nitrogen is the second shell, 2, okay? Because it is a second period element also. So 2 plus 3, they have 5 valence, valence electrons. Whereas for oxygen, whereas for oxygen, it too is a, a second period element and see, second period element and they, uh, 2s has 2 electrons, whereas 2p has 4 electrons cumulatively they have six valence electrons okay now let's proceed with the structure i'm drawing one n one oxygen because these two are present in monoform okay now nitrogen has five valence electrons let's draw them one two three four five oxygen has six valence electrons let me draw this one with other color yeah one two three four five six now see oxygen wants two more electrons so that it will be able to complete its octate which means it will have eight electrons in its outermost shell so it will make two bonds with nitrogen okay now let's count the number of electrons oxygen now has okay one two three four five six seven eight so oxygen has completed its octate Let's count the number of valence electrons nitrogen has after making two bonds with oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has seven electrons, seven, not eight. So this is the fallacy. So this particular molecule does not follow Lewis octate rule because nitrogen does not have eight electrons in its valence shell after bond formation okay so it is very important very very important that you memorize this structure always remember that in nitric oxide there are two bonds two double bonds between nitrogen and oxygen and the rest you'll you'll guys be able to draw the electrons it doesn't matter so memorize this one okay 
and also watch, watch the video of NO2 nitric dio uh, nitrogen dioxide very important because it too does not follow Lewis octet rule I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you